blocks put on the wall. But. Okay, good morning, everybody. Let's call the meeting to order for December 21st, 2018, Polk County at the Courthouse. Um, if you haven't done so already, would you please turn off or mute your cell phones and pagers? And at this time, we would like to ask Mr. Tom Owens from First Baptist Church in Goodrich to lead us in prayer. Let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for the privilege of being an American. Thank you for letting me be a Texan. And I pray, Father, that we might appreciate the many blessings that you've given to each one of us. Bless these elected officials of our county. I pray that you will give them wisdom and understanding and a hunger for justice and righteousness. Bless them as they conduct the business of your court today. And as we celebrate Tuesday, a holiday, we thank you for this reminder that Jesus, the Creator, the one who breathed into the nostrils of the first man, he became a living soul, came down to earth to live a pure and perfect life, and then to allow his life to be crucified for our sins. Thank you for your resurrection, and thank you that today, if we will hear, and if we will believe, and if we will repent, and if we will call upon you, you will be faithful to save us for eternity. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Shalana, would you lead us in the pledge? Yes, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one Thank you, ma'am. Merry Christmas, Mr. Owen. Uh, did we have anyone sign up for public comment? No, ma'am. Okay, item number three, informational reports. Um, maintenance. Morning. Morning. For fiscal year 18. We had 1,252 work orders, 278 work orders for the jail, 361 work orders for the mechanic, 11 of 12 employees are CPR and AD certified, did approximately $64,170 in postage and mail. Uh, major things that happened this year, we had uh, the flood at the Judicial Center, the one at UTMB, and then we were also at the Beginning of the year, we're still recovering from Hurricane Harvey. Um, senior Center was completed this year. The parking lot for the Senior Center was completed. And we also were wrapping up the final stages of the MG Utility Reduction Project with Way Company. Major projects that we did with the capital outlay funding, tax office roof, uh, Waukesha Pierce for generators at the jail, adult probation roof, training roof at adult probation, juvenile probation, Dunbar Gym, those were all roofs. Sub courthouse in Corgan, roof, judicial center. We added an awning for a break area outside, and we also did a awning at probation, which was uh, just causing problems with the raining. Uh, we ordered the windows for HR, the bulletproof glass there. We did the duct cleaning at the annex, and we uh, redid some groundwork at the judicial building and the termite extermination was a project that we, we took on there. Um, and of course, in the end of 18, we've also uh, started projecting things for, you know, of course this year on roofs and some of those have actually uh, started and I think some duct work's even being done today even. So, yes. may I have any questions? Jay, what's going on at the library? We've got their uh, sprinkler system in place. Is it done yet? You mean the museum? The museum. Yeah, museum. No, sir, we're uh, at this point, we just talked to Carrie the other day and we're waiting on Jack Bobbinger to finish submitting some of the paperwork for it. We've got the bids and all. Uh, we're just waiting on it to reach the agenda. Okay. Anyone else? Thank you, Jay. Appreciate you. it. Human resources? Good morning. I gave you all the report that has the generalized information I'm going to go over real quick. 
Um, human resources has posted a total of 116 positions for departments within the county over the last year, which is from October 2017 through September 2018. We have filled 110 of them uh, to this point. Our office has processed 41 resignations, eight retirements, five dismissals, 16 separations from employments over this period of time as well. We have received and processed 39 workers' compensation reports, 16 were report only for medical attention only. I'm sorry, 16 reports were for medical attention only, four lost time reports, and 19 were report only. Since last report, we have implemented a new financial software program. This will include electronic timesheet reporting, leave accrual balances, and many other functions to assist our employees. It will basically be um, a portal at your fingertips. Once the entire system is fully functional, our employees will be able to report their time via the portal called the Employee Self-Service System. <clears throat> along with being able to change W-4s, direct deposits, address changes, and much more. We will be also linking information to our employees as far as their insurance, to TCDRS information, and any other important information to that portal as well so we can give them information more on the flow than sending out a piece of paper. And we will be conducting trainings prior to implementing this. Um, we're hoping come the first of the year we will have a full rollout um, we're going to be the guinea pigs in my office prior to rolling it out um, just to kind of get, make sure all the kinks are worked out before we roll it out to everybody. Also during this time period, we have conducted the salary study, open enrollment, and revisions to the policy manual to incorporate all changes from the, sal from the salary study in the budget process. And in the upcoming year, we're going to attend trainings to stay up to date on new regulations and changes that are coming down the pipe from different changes to laws and stuff. That's all I have. Okay. Any okay. questions? Yes. So, I mean, I guess I didn't understand. All of our people are going to put their time in in a computer? Yes, sir. I mean, so each one of my guys is going to have to have a computer deal? No, uh, sir. In, in, a, in an instance so for like, still gonna do their yes, sir, for, for people in outlying locations like the Road and Bridges, we'll have a delegate that can assist them in that process. So they won't be responsible. They can, Carol will still be but she will be doing it for them because she'll be, she'll be delegated she'll to do it for them. Who's going to approve their time sheets? You will. What if they put them in the computer if I don't see them and they just send them? It on. sends it to you. Once they enter it and they submit it, it, send it will send it computer. to you electronically. But she can also she no. can also approve the process electronically for you. you know, all of us ain't electronic. I understand. <laughs> I understand. We got that. And so but we have accommodated for the non-electronics. We are going to do the best to assist you through this process. All right. We're not going to expect you to do it all on your own. <laughs> Adrena, yes, uh, you've, you've transferred some information to uh, TCDRS. Uh, what assurance do we have that that information is going to be private, that nobody can go in there and, and get that stuff? The only thing that we're going to transfer is just the link for them to go online and look at the employee site. That's all. And then they'll have to log in and create a username and password. There won't be any information that's disseminated. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh. Thanks, Adrena. Okay, we have uh, an addition to the information reports. Uh, Courtney, emergency management, has uh, excellent in safety. You want to tell us what that is? Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Uh, we'd like to present the 2018 Excellence in Safety Award. Uh, the Excellence in Safety Award was added to the safety program in 2015 by the Commissioner's Court. It is a $250 gift card that is awarded to an employee in December each year. The award must go to an employee that has been nominated by their department head or direct supervisor, is a full-time employee having been, having been employed by the county for no less than one year with no breaks in service, has not had any major safety violations or lost time accidents with one year of nomination, is current on all required safety training, in the award application, the department head or direct supervisor had to demonstrate how the employee has gone above and beyond to improve and or promote safety on behalf of his or her department and or the county. The recipient is selected by the Polk County Safety Committee. 
This year, the safety committee received four nominations and they have selected Ms. Jessica Holman with the Department of Aging Services to receive the award. According to Jessica's supervisor, Dee Couch, Jessica consistently looks to mitigate hazards in her department to keep her coworkers safe. So with that, I'd like to present Ms. Jessica with her certificate and her gift card. like a photo with a court if that's possible that and would be great <laughs> the uh, safety committee members they would join us some addendums. The first addendum is in the amount of $18,957.16. Second addendum is in the amount of $63,048.65. And the third one is in the amount of $138,845.06. Is there anything on the consent agenda that anyone wishes to pull off? Nope. Okay. Can I have a motion? Motion to approve, Commissioner Vincent, second Commissioner Overstreet. Any further questions or discussion? All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number five, consider approval of personnel matters as follows. Um, review and consideration of personnel action form requests submitted. And you have, you have all of those in your packet since the last meeting. We have three emergency hires at this time, one in the Sheriff's Department, in the Sheriff's Office, and one and two in the jail. Motion to approve. Motion to approve, Commissioner Willis. Second, Commissioner Purvis. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number six, consider request for revisions and amendments to the budget as follows. FY 2019 budget revisions and amendments were presented by the County Auditor's Office and those were in your packet for you to review. Motion to approve. Motion to approve, Commissioner Second. Overstreet. Second, Commissioner Vincent. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number seven, receive and record District Judge Casey Jones' order of appointment of Jessica Stanton as 411th District Court Bailiff, effective January 1st, 2019, and consider approval of salary adjustment. Uh, this, Since this position was empty when we did the transition, then we need to add the 2.5 so that so that she's lining up with the rest of the county. So second. So move Commissioner Purvis, second Commissioner Overstreet. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number eight, consider approval of order adopting the multi-jurisdiction hazard mitigation plan. Uh, you have it in front of you and Courtney's available. If anybody has any questions that you would like to ask. I'm sure you, everybody's read it from. Are you, are you good with it, Courtney? Huh? Front to back. <laughs> Front to back. <laughs> okay, does anyone have any questions for Courtney or her team? It takes a lot to put it together. Yes, sir, it did. It's a lot of work. Thank you. Appreciate that. Motion to approve. Motion Thank to you. approve, Commissioner Overstreet. Second. Second, over here. Second, Commissioner Purvis. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number nine, consider approval of appointments to the Polk County Historical Commission for the two-year term. You have a list that was presented to you. Um, they had some, res some resignation and some retirements from that group. Patricia, do you wish to speak or? No, we just would appreciate you appointing those. 
that we recommended to the commission. Sounds a death and other issues. And oh, so these five all, proposed, all, all these all, five proposed, or how many positions are we? The, the yeah, five, all five of them. All five. I make a motion. We go with those Second. five as we. Okay, Commissioner Overstreet. Second, Commissioner Purvis. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? Motion carries. Item number 10, consider any and all necessary action regarding RFP 2019-13, redistricting services associated with the 2020 census. Uh, we received two bids, in which we forward. The copy of the bids was included for you all to review. Um, the only difference is in the flat rate fee. Bigger staff's flat rate fee was in the amount of $27,500, and Allison Bass and McGee was in the amount of $25,000. That's really the only difference between them is the flat rate fee. We'll make a motion to go with Allison Bass and McGee. Okay, motion Commissioner Overstreet. Second. Second, Commissioner Vincent. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Item number 11, consider any and all additional necessary action relating to bid number 2019-12, purchase of 12 vehicles with optional trade-in of 10 vehicles, stating net amount to be paid from general fund balance and included on the FY 2019 reimbursement resolution for year-end issuance of legally authorized debt or for the tax notes. Uh, the copy of, of the request has also been uh, included in there for your review. The bid opening was held on December 3rd at the uh, county officer, the county auditor's office, and there's also been another addition to it for Big Sandy ISD for them to use for their school resource officer. So the amount per vehicle would be uh, $54,775. Do you all wish to proceed? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Commissioner Willis. Second. <laughs> Second, Commissioner Overstreet. Ain't better than that. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Any opposed? Motion carries. we we'll give you a chance to speak, sir. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> he can't hear us. Have you fixed your hearing aid? No. <laughs> That'll make for a happy marriage, I guarantee you. Forty eight years. <laughs> she's a she's a very good woman. Okay, item number twelve, discuss and consider approval of options for proceeding with lease of county owned property located at four turn four ten East Church Street, Suite A. Uh, Livingston, Texas, and consider approval for legal counsel to prepare the lease. Uh, Commissioner Overstreet and Commissioner Purvis. We, uh, we uh, Commissioner Purvis and myself, met with uh, Randall Turner representing Man Eye Center. We come to an agreement on this. Uh, there's actually, what, what I found from the judge's office is 3,612 square feet being utilized over there by Man Eye Center. We agreed to this year the lease uh, be at 72 cents a square foot, which would be basically an increase about $1,750 over what they're currently paying. But in the original lease, there was some talk about new carpet, new furnishings, things like that. We're not doing any of that. This is at 72 cents. This is retroactive back to October 1. Okay. So therefore, that's what we move that we go with. We told we fixed the thermostat. Yeah. Well, I got, oh, no, I had, they can have control of the thermostat. Yeah, I had Jay work on that. That day we were made aware of that. I called Jay and he's went yeah, over we there. They have a manual on that call. Yeah, yeah. So, so anyway. Yeah, that's not a problem. So, but one year lease or? One year one lease. Year. Okay. Will do. That give them time to see what they want to do and give us time to see what we want to do. Yes, yeah, kind of good. Got down to this, and which is pretty good increase on them. So, we'll, we'll so see are, that you bring, are you bringing that as a motion? I'm bringing that as a motion. Yes, ma'am. Commissioner Overstreet, Commissioner Purvis, any further discussion or questions? Yeah, fellow, do you have anything you need to say? I do, yes, sir. Thank you, Commissioner, Judge, Commissioners. I'm Eric McGee. I'm the law firm that y'all hired, I think, the last Commissioner's Court to work with Commissioner Overstreet, Commissioner Purvis on this. Um, we did go through the options for each one of you. I think you should uh, remember that you had an RFP out there on the table 
you receive three bids under that. Um, we've looked at it. I'm not sure if you were actually formally rejected all three bids under that RFP. What we did is we took a look at the RFP with Commissioner Overstreet, Commissioner Purvis. The RFP actually lays out something a little bit different um, than the recommendation that the two commissioners are bringing back from MANI. So I think probably the right process is to reject all the bids for the RFP. Then look back at the original lease that you have with the MANI Center. There's a holdover provision in there. It's in section 14 that actually talks about the ability for um, the original lease, I think, was for three years. Then there was a renewal period. After that renewal period expired, I believe that's when y'all went out for this RFP process. They're a tenant by possession. They're holdover on those facilities. Um, the lease that you bid was for another three-year term. So now they've come back and discussed what their options are with the commissioners, the committees that you voted on last commissioner's court to go visit with them and discuss the options with them. And there is some language in there that then provides the county and Man Eye Center the ability to go back and with written consent by both the lessor and the lessee to then amend the original one. And since they have been holding over since October, we would go back and since both parties are willing and it sounds like everyone from what they've told the Commissioner Overstreet and Commissioner Purvis, that's their option. So if you vote to move forward on that option, then we would go back and do a written amendment to the original lease to make it perfectly clear that this term is only for one year at the increase, increased rate, and that includes the payments that are still owed to the county at this point. Sounds good. And, uh, and thank you also. I heard my name mentioned a few minutes ago. <laughs> So we're gonna have a lot of fun in 2011. Um, I think it's fun. I don't ever think my county clients think it's fun for redistricting, but it's a, certainly a process and it certainly helps you learn a lot about your county and the growth that you have. So we appreciate your confidence in us as well for that. Okay, so um, we will move to accept the recommendation, which will include making it just a holdover for one yeah. year. Yep. Is that yeah. correct? Yes, and, and that's uh, 72 cents. So, I mean, just if you do rough math, this is approximation. Under the current lease, they pay about $875 oh, a okay. month. Yes, yeah. sir. And so now, if you increase the amount for the year, you're looking at around $2,600 a month. Yeah. So that's a significant yes. increase if you just do that amount per the square footage that would date back from October 1st, mm -hmm. then for this year period. and. Probably the recommendation would be, uh, we can talk about this at a later commissioner's court, is start looking maybe in June um, for going back out for RFP or figuring out how you want how to, to have this process started again. And, and this, we, we had told Mr. Turner that we probably would go out, and I think we told him. Yeah, we, we, it, we um, just getting time, this has drug out so long, and like I said, it's moved, it's moved forward, you know, to this point, and you know, June, next October is gonna be here pretty soon the way he was looking at, but he agreed to this right here, the conversation I had with him on the phone afterwards, and we got everything, be happy. He, they're, they're happy with it. Or they're, so they're work, we'll it. work out a written amendment mm -hmm. just to yes, make sir. the lease yeah. perfectly yeah. clear. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's fine. However, however you need to do that. Yeah. Very well. Thank you, sir. Okay, Thank we you. have a motion and a second. <laughs> yes, yep. ma'am. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries, very well. Okay, item number 13, discuss and take action to authorize retention of legal counsel for Shalana Hawk, Polk County Clerk in the matter of the state of Texas versus Shalana Hawk County Clerk in and for the County of Polk in the state of Texas. Cause number CIV 32344 in the 411th District Court of Polk County, Texas. Um, under normal circumstances, uh, TAC would be representing uh, Shalana However, uh, when TAC was contacted, they said they were unable to represent her uh, because it was member on member since Polk County, um, obviously she operates for Polk County and the district attorney's office does also. And so since it's member on member, then TAC cannot, will not uh, take the case. So they said that one of our options was for 
the county to agree to allow her to uh, retain counsel. Do you have anything you want to add to that? I think that's uh, probably a, a good <coughs> idea. Uh, I'm going to tell you a short story. Uh, my wife came home one day and she said she wanted, thought she needed to join TSTA. And I said, why? She says, because they'll hire you an attorney if you get in trouble. So I asked my dad, <coughs> he was an attorney, he said, that's the worst thing you can do is to have somebody else hire your attorney. What you need to do is hire your own attorney if you've got a problem. And so I think Shalana needs to pick who she wants to represent her and and the court and we've already cleared it with the district attorney's office has the authority to pay for that so you pick one and bring it back uh, to the court and we'll take care of it and and that that would be what she would do all we are doing is agreeing that we will allow her to retain counsel so that she can defend herself so assuming that the estimated rate we, what we've been told is the estimated rate is between 250 to 300 dollars an hour and that if this but does become a contentious or drawn out one that at most that it would be up to 80 hours um, which puts the amount is somewhere between Maximum, it's somewhere between twenty and twenty-four thousand. So, okay. what amount would the court like to place? On well, it? we don't have any idea about the details, or I don't. Well, so no, I but we can. How, I don't know what it's going to entail or what it's going to take. Uh, I just uh, think she needs to go ahead and pick her counsel, and we'll work, work the details out later because you don't know if this thing balloons or doesn't. No, so. sir, we don't. But if we want to put up to an amount so that then we can move the money over and then if more money is we needed yeah she just comes back to so the we're not limited to that no a, no 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 i'll make no. a motion we go fifty thousand okay so fifty thousand and we will move that money out of general fund is that your as as that's of course that's as needed correct i mean whatever the no oh, yes sir no, yes, sir. And so it'll come out of general fund, 50000 Okay, I have a motion and a second. Yes, ma'am. Over Street Purvis. Any further discussion or questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Very well. Thank you. Okay, Commissioner Overstreet, your turn. Close to adjourn. And Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs> what time is it? 1027. <laughs> Okay, Merry Christmas, everybody. And it's your turn. As always, it's my turn. <laughs> I love you. My turn. Merry Christmas to everyone. You too. Yeah. I don't I guess we'll ever adjourn if you miss a meeting. <laughs> no, it'll be your turn then. It'll be here. It'll be your turn. I missed I missed one. What, mate? I was first I had missed many, but I missed some back. My wife had that first surgery.